Hi guys, today I'm going to show you how to sex uh, Egernia by using the hemipenal eversion method. Um, these guys are pretty difficult to sex just by looking at physical characteristics uh, such as the head and the body uh, and tail length and width. Uh, a lot of people, when they sex them, they kind of go off of these features. And from what I've been hearing, it's probably anywhere between 60 to 80% accurate. Uh, I have two here which I believe are a pair. You can kind of see uh, different structure as far as body width and a little bit of the tail, but kind of just looking at them for someone who's not really familiar with the genus, it's a little bit difficult to just say, oh, that's a male, oh, that's a female. And sometimes you get, um, as with all reptile species that aren't sexually dimorphic, uh, you get um, males that kind of have female attributes and vice versa. So um, just make sure you're gentle when you try this out. I haven't done it for very long. I had a friend show me. Uh, he's really the only one that I've seen been able to do it. So, uh, so I'm gonna give it a shot. So when you pick these guys up, um, just be a little careful. They can be a little bitey. Um, it's a lot harder when they're colder to do the eversion. Um, when they're warmer, uh, the hemipenes seem to pop out a little easier. So basically what you want to do, you want to hold them like this or any position which kind of exposes the tail of cloaca and try to get the legs out of the way uh, as much as you can. So with these guys, you don't really want to do a um, you don't want to do a rolling of the tail as much as kind of applying a pressure. So basically, you kind of want to, with your left hand, just um, peel back kind of the cloacal region a little bit and then apply a pressure either to this side or that side. And you should get that hemipenal eversion. Now I am kind of putting a little bit not a little bit, but kind of a lot of pressure, but um, it's not hurting them in any way. But you can see the hemipenes everted uh, a lot, actually. And then once I kind of let go, they'll uh, kind of go back in on the, their own. If they don't, you can kind of just tap them gently and set them down. Now this is, the second one's what I believe to be a female. And she, I'll attempt to do the same thing on her. Um, they're just kind of on paper towels right now. I took them out of their enclosure. This is just kind of a medium uh, kind of area for me to be able to just grab them in and out of. So I'll do the same thing with the female and try to pull back on this area, the cloaca, and peel peel back the tail a little bit. Sometimes they'll juice out some pu or excrement so just watch out for that um, and again peel back and try to do the same thing again she did it so i'm applying quite a bit of pressure here and nothing is coming out which kind of leads me to believe that this one is a female so kind of try both sides just be careful you know, like dig your nail in there. So we'll pick back the male again, just to reiterate what I was saying earlier. Uh, hopefully get a better view. Now this guy is probably around six months old. If you try to do it any earlier than that, you're really not going to see anything. So this is a good age to try it at. So again, peel back and just kind of I'm applying a lot of pressure and if you want to see the side. And then just release and they should go back in. Just make sure your hands are clean before and after you handle the animals. And here's a shot of them again side by side so you can kind of see the differences physically. And that's it.